the Kelpie, a shape-shifting spirit from Scottish folklore, most commonly found in the form of a beautiful horse near the water's edge. This mysterious and deadly creature has been feared across Scotland for centuries. But why was it so dangerous? Let's find out together right now. The Kelpie is usually described in Scottish mythology as a stunning black horse that resides around the rivers and locks of the country. It is a malevolent spirit known for abducting people and devouring them, in particular children. Being a spirit with shape-shifting capability, a Kelpie was able to sometimes appear in human form. When appearing as a male, it was said to take the form of a huge, hairy man that would leap out and crush innocent passers-by. As a female, the Kelpie acted similar to a siren, appearing as a beautiful woman that would lure in naive victims with its seductive visage, only for them to meet their untimely end. When in the form of a horse, however, as was most often the case, the Kelpie would seem to someone simply a solitary animal stood by the water, beautiful and graceful, waiting to be tamed and ridden. They would often appear with bridles equipped and occasionally saddles designed to encourage strangers to attempt to capture the magnificent horse before them. If anyone was foolish enough to mount the Kelpie in this form, it would run off into the water and quickly drown its prey devouring it and leaving no trace remaining, for once you have sat upon the Kelpie, its magical hide will stick to you, making it impossible for you to ever get off. The bridle of a Kelpie does offer opportunity, however, not only certain death. If you are wise enough to not mount the beast, but instead take hold of the bridle and steal it from the Kelpie, you would gain mastery over it. As Kelpies had the strength of ten horses, command over one was particularly valued if you could brave the encounter. In one famous Kelpie tale, the Laird of Morphine was able to capture a Kelpie and harness its magical strength to carry huge stones for the building of his castle. When the work was complete, the Laird released the Kelpie back into the wild, who, understandably, wasn't a huge fan of the Laird, and cursed him and his family. It is commonly believed this is the reason the Laird family ultimately died out. Luckily, if you find yourself visiting a Scottish lock in the future, there are a few warning signs you can watch out for that indicate when a Kelpie is nearby. It is said that a Kelpie's tail hitting the water made a sound like thunder, and that they would sometimes howl or wail at the approach of a storm. If you ignore these warning sounds and still end up face to face with a lonely horse near the water's edge, the final clue to look for is a permanently dripping wet mane. After that, you can't say you haven't been warned. Some even believe that Kelpie is the true identity behind one of the most famous mythological creatures in the world, the Loch Ness Monster. The Kelpie is a fascinating creature from Scottish folklore that has remained a popular tale for centuries. While some are convinced of the existence of the creature, others believe it was a way of scaring children away from the water's edge and a warning for young men and women to not venture into the wilderness alone. Whether you believe in the existence of the Kelpie or not, it is probably best to keep a lookout for any solitary horses near the water's edge, just in case. And if you see a beautiful woman sat by a lock enticing you to join her, maybe just ask a few questions first. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great stories. Cheers.